Hi guys, we're here today to talk about the P1 turbocharger, the first of a new series of turbochargers from GT Pumps for the Mitsubishi Evolution 4 to 9 range. We've been testing this turbocharger in our Evolution 5 race car and we ran it at World Time Attack Challenge in both 2018 and 19. The P1 is a stock frame turbo, meaning it will bolt up to your Evo without the need for manifold changes just like the rest of the GT Pumps turbo range. However, this is the first turbocharger from GT Pumps using ball bearing technology for a Mitsubishi Evo. On our car, we're seeing 20 pounds of boost by 3,500 RPM, and we're carrying power all the way through the rev range with peak power at 7,100, a minimal drop off to our 8,000 RPM red line. Without giving power figures just yet, I will say that power is strong and both spool and transient response on and off throttle are excellent. While we're testing this turbo in a race car, I would definitely recommend this turbocharger for both street and track applications. I will give you some power figures, but before I do, I will tell you a bit about the car to help you know what to expect in your application. So while we're testing this turbo in a race car, like most of this car's setup, the bolt-on components for this car are representative of many of our retail customer cars. The engine itself is a 2.3 stroker, which is actually better suited to rally sprint or street applications rather than circuit work. I'd personally prefer a 2.2 for circuit work, but it does have aggressive camshafts and extensive porting work, so it's a well-flowing head. But as I said earlier, the supporting modifications around the engine are not extreme at all and they're representative of a streetcar. On the exhaust side, we have a ceramic coated hypertune manifold, but with a somewhat restrictive Tomei version 1 dump pipe and 2.75 inch front pipes. From there back, it's a straight through 3 inch system and this could certainly be improved flow wise by using say an Artec 3.5 inch dump and a 3.5 inch system. On the intake, we're running a pod style filter in an enclosed airbox and we're still running an Evo 5.6 airflow meter and a factory size intake pipe. The intercooler is a HDI GT2 core with plasma man hot side and cold side pipe work. Again, there's scope to improve flow through most of the bolt-ons. With all that in mind, how much power can the turbo make? Well, more than we expected. We maxed out the single external fuel pump with 28.5 pounds of boost at 390 kilowatts. The car hasn't run really since last year's World Time Attack and the driver hasn't been able to get much track time over the past 12 months. So we ran this car with a very linear tune as you can see on the graph to allow it to be progressive and we ran it at about 360 kilowatts. The feedback from our driver Ryan was that the car was fantastic to drive with fantastic top end power combined with great spool and transient, transient throttle response. With a bigger fuel system, potentially there's more room for improvement and more power especially with less restrictive bolt-on components. So it'll be interesting to see how we go in other customer cars with those limitations removed. But for now, we know that the turbo is capable of at least 390 kilowatts on E85. GT Pumps not only produce turbochargers out of Sydney, but also provide excellent local service and after-sales support. If you're in the market for a 350 to 400 kilowatt turbocharger, or even a 300 kilowatt turbo for your Evo, this new turbo is well worth considering. Feel free to contact us or GT Pumps for more information.